John, uh, handler of Manila Times and Manila Indo. What a couple of weeks, John. I know we're 11 months after it now, but it still is still brilliant. Unbelievable, sure. There's still, there's still a buzz, and there's a big buzz now coming up to the Cheltenham and the National again. A lot of people in the hotel, and like, they're all like buzzing about, buzzing about it. And we, we done a sculpt, a, a wood sculpt on the tree, like the, with the two ha- half the two halves on the tree, the people coming from all over to look at it at the minute now. It's just the big buzz to it, like, you know. Very good. And I remember going back to the early 90s following racing uh, Manila, uh, Hotel Manila um, Aidan O'Brien wrote it back in the day and it's yeah, all yeah. developed from there yeah Manila Lattice was the first of memory one him Aidan one and Hotel Manila Manila men uh, they were all grade one horses at the time but sure, it's different times then you could afford to keep a, a grade one horse and ordinary people were racing now the values and the costs have gone so big and probably the prize money was as big then as it is now except for the big the big big races like so now the value of them, yeah. if you want to keep in them, you have to keep moving them. When we look at, back at Cheltenham and Intradash, the success of the Irish Pint of Pinters that came through, the likes of Goffs and, and Tattersalls, a lot of our handlers are buying them as stores and moving them on. You have a very, very different approach. Do you mind taking us through what, what, you, what you, you, you works for you? Uh, we buy them as foals. Buy them as foals in November and Ferios and Goffs and in the country and rear them. Like, and you have them from the day, day one, like bring them home and leave them off in a big shed and feed them and leave them out. And, Tipperary ground, like to like Tipperary land, like I mean, both Vincent the Bride didn't come to Tipperary for nothing a generation ago. Like it's just the, the ground produces the horses, like and around here, like there was a champion hall winner produced up the road, like and you know it's just let's say the land Tipperary land is definitely a big thing for them and feeding them and looking after them and good people handling them and getting them going and knowing their kinks and knowing their different ways of life with them and giving you know getting them yeah. going. And we see this morning that you mentioned you mentioned your staff and not to single out anyone. We see we see Johnny Barry working there this morning, and we see um, uh, Corky working with him, and yeah, we see yeah, your young nephew yeah, there, yeah, Shawnee, yeah, working yeah, with him. Yeah. So I important. Yeah. Great team, so like Corky is the main man. He runs the show. He does he does the job, and he's doing a great job. And Johnny schools and rides them, getting going. Johnny's a great rider and good lad. Sean, he's great that he's getting going. He's had since he was he was riding Indo when he was Indo's gone out here four or five years now. Sean, he's 16. He was riding him when he was 11. Like he. Like he scored him over fences, like when he was eleven, like and also just, just like you know, hopefully it'll make you know an amazing what you, what you live for. Okay, exactly, an amazing, an amazing story. That eleven months ago we had Indo and we had we had Manila Times, as as everyone would know, they won the Gold Cup and and and, and the Grand and the Grand National. Looking forward, you have similar stock coming on again. Is that the the dream? Do you see them yeah, that early, or is it just I when they get going? Or? I suppose look, like Indo, like was just a tough horse. Like I mean. Like there was faster horse there than him, but he was tough. Like you brought him away, he mightn't just zip by him, but he was always there, eating the fin in front of him. Like times was uh, was different sort of horse. He was a faster horse, like he was a bumper horse, um, and he was a zippy lad. But you'd be hoping you'd have like so you dream about the ones, and then the ones that probably the horse that you bring away that you say ah we're going off, we bring him as well, like and and he mightn't be as ready as the rest of them, but he's just doing maybe not quite as much as the ones already, but he's doing it. He's the one you want, you know. Yeah. I mean, you get ones that you think they're what more and lower. You think they're they're catching the pigeons, and when you when you go to war, they don't. And you get another fellow that put his head down and just go and do it like they're, they're the ones you want. And wh- what a result it was. But then going going forward, like you referenced earlier on, you buy a few folds every year. We step back to the Dublin Racing Festival probably three week, two three weeks ago now at this stage, and you had a first and second in in, in a, one of the Grade One novices, which is going to produce the next level of Hopefully potential gold cup horses. Well, they were they were two now about as three year olds because that year I'd say I hadn't many folds. I just took the few that were two dear in the year, and I didn't didn't buy them, and and I bought them as three year olds. One of them came from Fairy House, and the other fellow came from from Goffs from the Derby and Land Rover sale, and we ran the c- c- cocooner in Tortola and he was beaten by Grand Jury. But like he was, we only went there because we had another horse to went lame, and and we had, we entered him, and we 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 felt we were a few weeks off, but like it was a nice bit of ground there, and it was a lucky place and good track. So we said we go there. He was second, so we sold him. Him and feeling about him for the profits, and he went to Willie's, and they were always happy with him. But he was like, he was he was a ra- great horse to jump, and he was a rapid horse. Um, like he had a bit of class. Like he had, he he always had a bit of class. Now he's a little bit kinky in ways, but he had he had a bit of class. He needed to develop. The other horse then, um, another crooner, he he won the day the national in Mallow, like uh, uh, that meeting that was on the race course in Mallow, and loads of winners came out. American Mike came out, but he came out with, with a few more, and I think there was five or six winners came out of that race 
that that he won that day. And he just kept brining it out like that was savage racing that day there. They went like hell like and it was just real true run racing. Um and he was sold Gordon bought him over at over in Newmarket and I was Newmarket like he was a horse that nobody wanted and Gordon bought him off me outside afterwards like I couldn't believe it like I thought it was going over the crock of gold like you know mm. but like see that's it like they all believed you had a crock of gold and why had you come over there for a crock of gold and yeah. just, you just fall between the stools so like there is great value for people buying those horses like they just fall off the like I mean he's a great one horse now and he just fell off the fashion like it's not the like if you'd done a statistic of all those sales of the top price ones wouldn't be a good statistic but you get the ones that are just off the top and they mm-hmm. keep coming through and, and like for lads even the want race horses those horses are third and fourth and point of points like they'll win races and they'll do syndicate jobs and they're going to be they're bought for half what they cost as three-year-olds because the lads are trading and want to get rid of them but they're the like they're the key to it to keep the people people can get in value money and they, ca- and they can still have a chance of having they have their crack and like and for the point of point and like those kind of horses if they can keep if they can keep running those six-year-olds and, and make it fashionable for people to have them and like make the six year old maiden worth a couple of grand and like have the few lads in the pub have a syndicate and they put their grand together and they say we take on these bookmakers and have the lads from another village taking them on again <laughs> and, yeah, you get, and you're teaching fellas how to gamble then as well because they can't look at it online yeah. and they can't bet on the credit card they have to take out the 50 other hundred and hand it and there's a big difference between taking out the 50 and not getting it back or going on your phone and 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 like you know, losing it, you know, and you get, and I tell you, there's nothing better than getting a bundle of money off bookmaker, and you see his, te- <laughs> and you see his tears, and you, you have his tears and, and his money. You know, it's difficult, but like that's that's the real winning, like. You know? And on that on that point, you made some very valid points there, which I'm sure viewers will will, will, will look at and interest in for developing the point of points, which is, is the is the grassroots of, of 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 what everybody is doing. I suppose looking forward to Cheltenham. Will you, will you be having your few quid on some of your runners at Cheltenham? Is that the big question? Hopefully, Indo like he, like he's run the last, like he lost his way a bit, like he's he's got he's back on good track. Good run, Good run, Leperson. You'll know, be happy out with him. The other two horses have to go. For the, I do to go for three mile now. It's like they'll they'll run well, and I don't know how many more. With a couple of horses with Donald McCain, he generally goes uh, entry rather than Cheltenham, and um, he's after having I think I think there's seventeen or eighteen winners. Brian Hughes and Donald are after having. This year with Manila horses, like you know, Very good. um, like so, just, just like, but like, there's great value for people to buy horses off the, off the record. They're buying them like, it's like buying January sales. Like they're buying them at half what they cost, and there's still nothing wrong. They just didn't make the, for just didn't. It was just one fashion. Like exactly, than wrong, exactly. You know? Any names to look out for? I suppose is it a bit early in the season yet? I suppose the four year olds are only starting out. Is Anton Anton yeah, out for you yeah, finally? Oh, we ran one on Sunday. I'm disappointed with him. Uh, we have a beat hollow horse night horse there. We called him Manila Diamond. Um, he's a nice off me. Sage Burk horse. He's uh, the family of um, family of Manila Indo. He's out of a uh, uh, old Vic half sister Manila Indo. Um, He's a nice horse, he's a Manila champ, called him, and we have a f- soldier of fortune, that's a nice horse, a big horse, he's a noble looking horse, whether he'll make it in the spring or not, no, I don't know, and we have a soldier of fortune, Philly, that's, that's a nice Philly, um, hopefully we have a few to... Well know. hopefully John, it's, it's been a pleasure coming to you this morning, your fantastic yeah. facilities, your, your grass schooling, we've seen them in the water cooling down yeah, afterwards, yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah, them out, yeah, out, yeah, out yeah, on the gallops, yeah, a fantastic facility yeah, you have here, you've produced winners for many, many years, it's been a pleasure and we wish you many more years of success. Thanks very much, thanks for coming, it's great, like, people, we have a lot of people come from the hotel out and people that are interested to come and stay the weekend and come out and look at the horses, so come over, go to a pint of pint and go and look at the horses and see, and like, the, 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 like racing really has punched up over its weight in the whole pandemic thing and like it's like there's a big opportunity for to get more people into it and there's people like you know there's people that you wouldn't think i see in the hotel people you think that i wouldn't know much about her. and they're, they're between rachel and henry and willie Gordon and all that and like it's not all about the superpowers either like there's like you know there's people like with all kinds of ideas about them that uh, you know there's definitely room for everybody well and there's definitely a big opportunity there just to get like outside point to point and bring families like ten up for a carload or score for a carload and bring your own sandwiches and sit down and look from the springtime coming on and see the next indo the next honeysuckle to think like three sundays in a row you had honeysuckle middle indo and you had uh, appreciate like winning drum hand three sundays in a row like and then like you had rachel and our day like you have Jamie, Derek, see the news, see Bon O'Neill, see how those lads go down to the third or fourth last fence and see how those lads go, like, and okay, right, some of the kids might hear X-rated words, but, like, they see what, <laughs> to see what it's like going, going down to, and they get the buzz, and, like, 
you know, maybe some of those kids might turn out to be IT millionaires and instead of buying a yacht they'll buy a racehorse they can yeah. say like, you know, you get people you set the seed in them and it'll come it'll come around to them maybe hopefully, right. you know. John, it's been a pleasure. Thank All you very right. much. Thanks so much. Thanks, thanks, thanks.